Hey guys, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at updating your Intel motherboard drivers. Uh, I want to cover this because it's actually one of the simplest things you can do with motherboard drivers, but it's also very often overlooked. People will frequently update their video card drivers or their sound card drivers and they have a problem. But in this case, you really want to make sure you have your motherboard drivers, your sound card, your video card, everything on your computer is plugged into the motherboard. As you can see on the screen, this is my device manager, and I just have it popped open briefly just to show you how everything on my Intel motherboard is properly identified, including the drive controllers, the network card, the processors, and if you come down here, you can see that everything is properly detected as Intel with the latest drivers. Uh, another thing you might want to consider if you have an older Dell, Gateway, Toshiba, you know, brand name computer. If you go to their site to download the latest drivers, a lot of times you're going to end up with a driver that's actually updated, maybe for a year, sometimes two years tops, and then they stop updating them. In the meantime, your five-year-old computer is now running three-year-old drivers because you're assuming that the manufacturer has the latest drivers, and that's not the case. They stop supporting it. So even if you have a machine that's over a year old, this is something you can look into doing. It's very, very simple. I've also provided the link to download it in the description below. Let me get out of the device manager real quick now that you see how everything works and is properly identified. I save the file here to my desktop and you simply double click it and run. It's going to go through the simple extracting the files to a temporary folder and this is where the program confuses people who don't do their drivers often because it goes so fast. Uh, you'll be out of this in 30 seconds and you might not even know if it did anything. Now as you saw in my case I've already run this and my drivers are up to date. But we're going to walk you through it and warn you what could happen. There's your next, here's your typical agreement, there's your readme on you know whatever uh, changes are in this version and then you when you hit the next you see the screen here one of a couple of things is going to happen right around here. One it's going to tell you that your device is not identified, you don't have an Intel motherboard or your board isn't supported. So you can also run this file even if you're not sure if your Intel board is supported because it will tell you it's not supported and it will exit for you in which case you may have to look for a more specific driver or go to the manufacturer site for a driver exactly for your board. Uh, essentially while you're watching this all it would have done is this, when you saw it extracting the temporary files you'd see almost the same thing and show it extracting the files boom done in 15 to 30 seconds ask you to reboot if it didn't ask you to reboot you're getting this which means you're up to date if it asked you to reboot it did update the drivers you click reboot and you're done I've installed this no less than 30 40 50 times I can't even remember it's been so long on numerous motherboards numerous machines and never had a problem you can always set a system restore if you're not sure or you're uncomfortable with it just to make sure if you have a problem you can roll back uh, there is no actual uninstall for this it just does it and that's it one last thing worth mentioning if you're a little obsessive compulsive like I am it loves to leave an Intel folder and the only thing you're gonna find in this Intel folder is a logs folder with a log of your installation simple as that so if you'd like to keep your computer lean mean fighting machine you don't need that folder. Optional. And there you go. It's actually that simple. Uh, it's, they're usually around two megs for the download on this. So you're, you're looking at, you know, most broadband users will download the thing in 30 seconds. You run the installer. It probably takes you longer to read the agreement and, and open the file and get it running than it does to install the drivers. Reboot. You're done. Keep your machine running right. The latest drivers are very important. If you're looking at this and you're going to update your motherboard drivers, finish up by checking your video drivers and check your sound drivers as well. Maybe your network card drivers. All right. I hope this helped you out and we'll see you next time.